<laughs> guys. Who, uh, I think someone broke, someone accidentally cut some wire or something. Doing something. Ah, the building crew. So uh, now they're scrambling to get it back together for uh, Shabbos. <coughs> for Shabbos. Poor chillin festival. Dude, what's going to be? Say, what's going to be with the chillin? The, the Maybe they've still got electricity for the chillin. That that's Kodesh Kedoshim. That they can't. They'll they'll, they'll be a, a miracle with the chillin. Oh, you know what the whole Indian of having chamim or chillin on Shabbos, however you call it, chamim or chillin. <laughs> so it's brought in a sefer, a beautiful sefer. We'll learn it one day, maybe a little bit. Bolviad say so. It's a sefer by Svera Chasidim, and it's a sefer on Minhage Shabbos. Okay. So it's very, very beautiful. I once had the schus. I was a manal for yeshiva, and every suda that they had in the yeshiva, they wanted someone to learn something with them, so they asked me to do it. And I would learn uh, another minhag from Bovi, I'd say so, another custom of Shabbos. And he brings uh, the, the Tamei Mitzvah behind, I mean, it's a known thing, but Chamim is the idea of a Munas Chamim. Why? Because the Karaites, yeah, they wanted to have Shabbos Lafi, the Torah Shabbat Sav. And they didn't understand how there would be a way to have hot food on Shabbos and have a Munas Chamim. So the ticket of this is dafka to have hot food on Shabbos. So chamim or chulun is our way. And the way the Boi so says, it actually increases our munas chamim. Just by the act of eating hot food on Shabbos. Proves that we're not parents. And not only that, it has a segula in a spiritual way, somehow in a ruchnius way, that it increases our level of munas chamim. And what's our school for eating chulun on Thursday night? <laughs> <laughs> That's a Muna in, Sh- in Stephen Eagle. Yeah, I don't know. A Muna in uh, Good Yidin. I don't know. Okay. A Chanas for Shabbos. Time. I'm sure it'll all work out. I'm sure it'll t- all work out. Yeah, Ti'ima. Ti'ima. The whole idea of tasting Erev Shabbos, so they're being Yoti Thursday night already. Okay. Take us away. Where are we? Yeah, Where so there's a beautiful, beautiful uh, Svasemis here. It's one of actually my favorite. Um, concepts about, and he brings it. In a, there's a few different ones. I think we should do um, <coughs> tough race lamid hay. First one. Yeah. Uh, no, it's the third one. I think also. It's the first one of mine. Is it? Tough race lamid. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's one of my favorite concepts of. To understand that the soul came before the goof, and it's the famous Shemesh Shmuel, that in Maaseh Barashas, what came first? Adam or all the way down to the last creation, the Yitush, the Mosquito? What came first? So if you called, we're talking about the Neshama, for sure the Neshama of Amisel came first. Yeah? Yisrael, Barashas, Yisrael, we were the first, we were the beginning of creation. But if you hold according to um, the, the Seder in, in, in Pshat, in Bereshis, who comes, who's created last? That's uh, Adam, yeah? The uh, Salam Akim, he's made last. In the Yom HaShishi on, on the sixth day. So we understand that really the last in creation is Adam. So why, how is it that Bereshis is Yisrael, that we're the first? Yisrael, Yisrael, Bereshis. The whole creation was created for Yisrael, Bereshis. It says Rashi's Dana Dagana Daganecha says in the Rashi on 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 the Pasuk Barashis Alik Baradakim, it says that we are the Rashis. Daganecha, we're like the Rashis and it brings that famous Pasuk Karma Shem, that's the second Pasuk. The first Pasuk is we're the Rashis in 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 Sefer Yemyo. We're the Rashis. Yeah. So it's important to realize that we have the the Nishama level of Yisrael, we are Yeshishim, we be associated to the Torah, we Yeshishim and with the Neshamas, if you learn Yerushan, the idea that Shuran, sorry, Shuran is Yeshishim, we be associated to Neshamas Yisrael, where the Neshamas, where the 600,000 Neshamas are created at the beginning of creation, and therefore we're the Kedem, we're the first, and what was created last was the body. So the Shemesh brings the choices up to us. Mm. What do we choose? To be more neshama, to be more soul, or to be more goof, more body? Mm. And that makes, there's a big nafkamina, whether we're the racist of creation, the beginning of creation, or we're the 
lost in creation. So really choosing the level of the neshama is really obviously the priority. Choosing the derech of the neshama, of Ratz and Hashem, rather than choosing the, the derech of the Yetzirah, of the Guf. Yeah? It's based on a Pasuk. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Pasuk, I think it's Hillim. But Hashem made us. The the question is Achor, the Kedem. I form them back and forward, Satani. Yeah. So what does it mean that? So the, one of the concepts is that one of the ways we learned is Shtei Pasufim that Adam was had a back and a front. <coughs> okay. So Hava was joined to Adam originally, yeah, physically, and there was a back and a front. That's one way of understanding it. I think there's a few different explanations. Let's see what the Svasemis explains. The, they had a back and a front. So I formed them. Damta. And if you if you merit, so if you merit, you say to you. Meaning, Hashem will say to you. Yes. And that you means like Adam, like human, humanity or Yisrael. I think it would be Yisrael because we're learning we're learning Torah from Yisrael. You were first. Imlo, imlo, and if not, imlo, yatush. Yeah, the good old, good old mosquito. Those annoying things in that come in the summer. Like a mosquito to come. Yeah. I always have a big Nisoyim with those little dudes. <laughs> They're very humbling. They come and they eat at you. And it's, it's really annoying. Especially in a frat. There seems to be quite a large population of them. I don't know if you had it where you lived previously. I get a lot. Oh, you haven't been there in the summer? Oh, it's pretty intense. I mean, maybe where you live in a frat, it's better. I live quite near where the Arab areas are. And they have farmlands, and I think they don't get rid of the water you live irrigation on, on, properly. Uh, you live on the main on the main street. Yeah, that main street. And if you look, the view oh, is because you're looking at the, at the beautiful view. Yeah, it's beautiful view. The only problem is maybe they don't get rid of the water. Ah, so they have the flies that come up. Flies right come up from the fields though. Ah, then yeah. They drive us nuts in our in our rooms, and I have nets. I have all kinds of establishments. But they still find they a make way. Like little things you can plug into the wall, like emits, like some sort of like. A yeah, I probably need to get something like that. I tell my wife every year we need to because it's driving. I, sometimes, some, some nights I kill three or four, maybe even five, maybe more. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Yeah, Shabbos you're just like dominating. Yeah. <laughs> Let me sleep. Yeah. So he says, and behold, we need some sort of a reason why um, created Aharon Lamasa, I meaning like to yeah. do. We were created last, Lamasa. Lama Nivra Aharon Lamasa. Oh, in, in, in reality, Lamasa, like, you know, when we say Lamasa, you know, is this Lamasa? Like, in, in, mm-hmm. is this reality? So why were we created Lamasa? But he roots, Kadei Shiye Karov Layoma Shabbat. Yeah. Very good. So he says, and the answer he gives is in order that it should be close to Shabbos. Right. Meaning we wanted you to be created right next to Shabbos. In order that a person... Could, uh, I guess it says in the image, Josh, that, that a person would be able to enter into Shabbos immediately. Great, so that's, after a, it being created. that's a great new way of thinking that the Shemesh Mul didn't bring. <coughs> the idea that we're walking, maybe he brought it in a different Torah, but over here, the one I was quoting, he, you're going now, the, 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 the miler of being created last doesn't I mean you're close to enter into Shabbos. So nice. you, so we, I, I heard we, a nice reason that it was because yeah. they they didn't want the katrugim to say oh if you were if you were created like the third day let's say yeah and the katrugim would come and say like oh was it the kofir or whatever you call them oh maybe it was uh, bnei adam who helped create uh, animals uh, and things like that and take away some of the glory from Hashem. Okay, very good. So one of the important things is to give glory to. We literally came. 
Last, that's a good shot. No so we came could, last. No one could come and try to claim, so can't claim like, anything. Oh, look, you came on the third day, so it must be that you came yeah. and, and then you helped create, create one, the world. So maybe it's not really very uh, good. And what, one of the explanations of Adam is if you go into the Meluim, like the, the letters within the name of Adam, Aleph Mem, uh, sorry, Aleph Dalid Mem, and you spell them out, it's the inner letters of Aleph Lamid. Uh, so Aleph Dalid Mem mm-hmm. Dalid so you spell it out Aleph is Lamed Pei mm-hmm. Dalid is Lamed Tov and Mem is Mem it's Osius Mispalo mm-hmm. the inner letters of Odom is the Panemius of Odom is Mispalo Tefillat so we came after all of creation just <coughs> just in order to now pray to the one who created everything beautiful so that, that's, that's, that's so that's understanding that we're really the crown of the creation not not the cause of the creation even though he made it for us but he he made it for us to crown Hashem, to crown the king, who made it all. Beautiful. So he says, And what here he's saying it's through Shabbos, to go straight into Shabbos. When <coughs> he says the explanation of the matter is, He ha'arat yom ha-shabbat hu ha'ara betok ha-bria. So he says the explanation of the matter is that the illumination of the day of Shabbos yeah. is the illumination of within the Bria. Like it's illuminated within the Bria. On Shabbos, it's, it, the illumination takes place within the Bria. Runiten Rakla Dami. And the Bria was given only, or, or this illumination of Shabbos was given only to man. Yeah. <coughs> Very good. So we see that... Shabbos is given only to man. Yeah. The rest of the creation... Yeah. So it says that the all the rest of the creation, the creation yeah. they're like physical. They're physical. They're physical, and the kayotam and the strength of their energy. Strength of their energy is given. Like chias, like vitality. At the at the time that Shabbos yeah. was, uh, at the time that they were created, of Adam Yeshbo Neshamat Elohus. Ah. Niten imo haara kemoshehu elamazeh bekol. Um. What's I have in brackets here? Uh, Olive, do you have that? Yeah. How, do you read the brackets? You don't. Read the whole. I mean, it's a different kind of brackets. It's interesting. Bekol Elohus maybe. Yeah, bekol echad maybe. Ah, beautiful. <coughs> oh, good, good. I get more on Sunday. I'm going to make a whole collection for him. He's coming back four days before Pesach. And he's leaving Erev Pesach. We're never. I wish he could just stay for Seder night. Yeah. He has to be on base for Seder? He did a gimel once for Yom Kippur and he got in a lot of trouble. Even though he had an official gimel. I mean, he got a doctor and everything, but the the mifaked, who was mifaked, tortured him afterwards. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't regret a minute of it because he spent Yom Kippur in shul. Yeah. You think they might say that he'll be able to stay one more day? I'm gonna ask him to ask. I'd rather him go back on the day of Yom Tov to get the Seder night. I don't know if luckily that's better. Maybe that's a wrong decision. I have to ask a rabbi, but but I uh, I'm going to ask him for say tonight. Let Hashem decide if it means also till the end of Yom Tov. Okay, good. Okay, can you send me the link, please? Yeah, this is all the Shem Bar Do they? Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Do they? Do they? Um, Thank you. Do they change the food to be kosher pesach? Yeah. It's not only kosher pesach, it's in the kitchen, but it's also not the brass. It's only the brass and the army of pesach. That's paladin. I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe you have to go around the kosher and teach no, By the way, I gave a shout out about your Schneider Kazakh Stalin. I'm on this group, I took a picture, like, and I said, this is a gift from the Rabbinu of the Sava for, that's what's name, the Rabbinu of Sava, yeah? Yeah, yeah. This is the, This is also from the Rabbinu. Yeah, yeah. What's, the, what's the Shreimikras from Rabbinu? That I have it in my well, space. Corrin, yeah. Corrin, we just, oh, it was a good one. Corrin distributors, yeah. Giving yeah. It out. We distribute them, yeah. Oh, really? This would be good for him, he'll appreciate this a lot. Yeah. He's the kind of guy who'll learn anything you give him. Amazing. Uh, 
Okay. This it's is definitely more like for families. This is more for families. This okay. is like, for more like you guys to enjoy and Great. to like the chazik with him. And this is for him. This is like okay, good. Torah. Appreciate it. Stuff. So, um, <coughs> okay. it's, he sort of answers our Shemesh our, our Shul. Because he, he jumps over that whole right. the Shama Guf issue. Right. Because he just gets straight into the fact that it's Shaykh Shabbos and, it's, and Adam was given an Nefesh al Like he goes straight into the Ruchni Yeshubo. Yeah. Very good. Each person is able to fix up themselves in order to feel the enlightenment of his soul. From above. Yeah, from on high. So like the Elyon is like high, high, you know, like so. It's a, the Neshama comes from a high Makor, you know. It's, it's where, a place which is very, it's Kula Ruchni, it's pretty much, yeah. And, um, and uh, so we, we have that ability to, to, to fill the light of, the nish, of, of Shabbos and the light of the Neshama. And the rest of the creation is just there for like to serve us that. Who says there therefore this is not a har kaka like a distancing from, from man. But Mashini Vraba Akrana, meaning yeah. the fact meaning I might have thought I might have had you know, the fact that man was created last yeah. some sort of distancing from our shadow. That was like the Shemish Mool, like you're less than a mosquito, you know? Right. If you serve us the goof first. Here the answer is no, that's not the, the mindset. It's closer to Shabbos. Ihula Olam Dabuk Beor Haalyon Bahu me atsio ta shabbat really is connected to the light from above. Yeah. Yeah. And this is like the essence of Shabbos. The Shabbos is really the a taste of the world to come. Very good. The Mashmira Bachrona Hu the Hodia he all your day. So it says the room is that this is a hint to people to, to Adam that he was created last to make known. Yeah. So the Yasha What does that mean? What is all of I think. Adam Yocha? No. Ki Ladia ki Yeah, he's able to straighten himself out and mock him a Like he can go straight to to himself to come to a place to straighten himself, yeah. Himself to come to a place that's befitting for him. In order that he draws close to all of those creations that are dependent that are on him. Dependent on him. Yeah, because the whole world is waiting for a yid to come along, a Jew to come along and make a bracha under that tree, like the Rambam says as an example. Yeah? Or right, the Gemara. Like, like the apple was created so that it yeah. could come over. And in the shade of the tree um, and yeah. the rich man's garden. He had all that wealth just so that Sadiq could come along and make a bracha under his tree. Like, there's all these kind of mishalim of this. But Adam, Yeshba Neshama Gvoah, when he turned for Shephel, Amadra So he says, a person has this high level Neshama and he gives it to the Shephel Hamadra He gives it yeah. this low level. He says, and this goes up for everyone to the source of their soul. Yeah, and the whole point is to elevate the elevation of everything, specifically the goof, which is the most you know low level thing, to elevate a low level creation, to elevate it as we see it's even after the mosquito, to elevate it to its shorish of, of the neshama that it has the shorish of the neshama. Zesh, and that's why Achel Kedem Satani. That's why Zesh Akosiv that I wrote in the Midrash that uh, before and after or, or behind and in front of I created you. Because you have such a high thing, the Neshorosh Neshama, and you were the end of creation. 
But the point is that you're close to Shabbos. Your Shoresh gets, your Shoresh Neshama gets awakened to elevate this 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 end creation and elevate everything, not just the person, but his guf, but all of the bria, because everything in the bria is, ta- is dependent on us. It's basically the thing, the responsibility we have. Right. I was saying it to your Rosh your Kolel today, with Yosef, one of the, the kudas why, um, this is from a Chesid Shabbat, so I'm not surprised he said it, so you, don't have to, you can take it with a grain of salt, but he said, I mean, he has a Masora from us, he, he was based on the Chavetz Chaim, who was not a Chesid Shabbat, but he said that one of the reasons why the Chesidim were, didn't fall to Haskalah, thank God also I think this father as well, is because they have achrayut. What's achrayut? Responsibility. Because they, they didn't get lost in the, the, the rationale, the seichel, the logic of the Torah. They were able to have a responsibility. What's the responsibility? As you can see, the whole creation is dependent on you, on your soul. So once you understand Fidur Chasidus or Panemius or the Arizal or the Fidur Svarim, however, however you get there, yeah, you get to this deeper understanding of relationship with Hashem and you realize all the creation is dependent on you. So then you can't start learning all this like kafira and stuff in order to go ahead in life. Yeah, and you're not dependent on your logic, you're, you're looking at a higher source. Because a person has a, a, a high level neshama yeah. and he gives it to a uh, low level, yeah. a low level like level. Yeah, this is what we just said. Yeah. yeah. And that everything else is going to come, everything is going to come up to the root of his soul. Very good. And that's the passage of the midrash. That's what it says in the Talmud when it says that after and before I was created. Yeah. So we have both aspects. The beginning with the, of the Neshama Kadosh, with the end of creation, and the point is it's all going to get elevated to its Shorash. It's a very comforting concept. Because it is a little bit difficult when you look at it, the Fib Shat, like we're right at the end. What are we, the lowest level? What's going on here? Right. So he says, okay, he says, Adam, Kiye, Be'or, Be'saro, Be'chule. So now this is connecting to the Adam of Pasha's Tazriya. So he says, a person, because it says the word Adam in the Pasha. Ye, Be'or, Be'saro. By the way, there's a whole, there's a beautiful shlaka that's just to know why it, suddenly we mention the word Adam. Because what did we end off last week's Pasha? With Kashrus. Yeah? So, the concept is that once you go through all of the Bria, just like we learned now, this whole previous concept, all of the Bria is discussed in Pasha Shmini, all the different animals, different creations, and what do we end off with? Um, How do we begin Pasha Tazriya? Adam. Adam. Now we've talked about the Bria, now we can get to the point of the Bria, Adam. Now what's going to be the main point of Adam? Shmir Salashim. How we use our mouth. It's paladic. It shows you how important it is. It's two weeks of Shmir, two parts of Shmir Salashin to help us realize how this is a big part of our tough kid in the world as, as an Adam, as a Bnei Adam. Adam ki ye ba'or basaro v'chule ki achar chet ha'adam esrim v'yasev v'chule? No, it's ki achar chet ha'adam it says that Hashem made them what? With a leathery skin. Or is a leathery? What's leathery? It's, uh, you know, so it's, it's a bad English on my part, but it's the idea, cutness or means Hashem made them like a, uh, a leather clothing, like kilo, which is basically our skin. Before, before the Chet of Adam Arishon, it's good to know this, it's one of the reasons why we do have Dada, we put our fingernails on the light, before we were created uh, <coughs> with skin, before, and that only happened because of the hate, we were clothed in light. Okay. Some say the suparnim, the, the nails, are, uh-huh, are a hint to that time before when we had a fluorescent skin, right. which would allow the light of the neshama to shine through. I understand, but then we, then we had the sin, so then it was wrapped in... And it says skin. in the Sfarim, what was that skin? It says it was the, from the Nachash Kadmonim. We got the skin of the Nachash. Beautiful. So we have this skin, I and mean, it looks actually a bit like a bit greasy and skin style. 
yeah. uh, snake skull, excuse me. So that's kind of the Pema Levery thing. Right. We've got clothed in this, 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 this Levery, um, like kind of clothing, or like, I, I don't know how to cut this, or like, because cut is like a clo- cloak kind of thing. Yeah, cut this Yosef, you see this idea. Yeah, cut this all. So, yeah. Then we got this this level of, of, uh, of Le- skin. Yeah, leathery skin. Before that, we were all with an aleph, and now we're all with an iron. Which, if you uh, think about it in a deep way, what's iron? Iron is the shivim amim. It's the the seventeen nations. It's all the different aspects that we have to fix. No problem. <coughs> and aleph is the all. Is the alufa sha'alam, the or of the neshama. So we went from or neshama to, to or of the goof with the iron. The shivim amim, the 17 nations. There's a lot of Torah in this. In the Hasidus, a lot of Torah in this. Um, and we're gonna get we're gonna get a lot out of this Torah now. We're gonna, this is a lot of Yisodas and Chasidas. Remember, one of the reasons we're learning is to get certain Nakudas. Chassamus so is giving us certain points of understanding. We just had a very important pasuk, Achol Kedem Saltani. This idea of the, what's Kedem in creation, and the, we, at the end of the day, the point is the Neshama. Mm-hmm. And now we're learning about well, look what happened. And this week's Pasha even says that you get this blemish on your skin. Where did we get this skin from? So it comes from the original hate from Admiration. So you have this leathery skin that causes, the, now when we speak Lashon Hod, to get some sort of Masoiris, some sort of uh, Nega Saras. That's what I was saying, this, this snake skin. That's, Arame- that's uh, Aramaic and from the Zohar. It's called the Mashka de Chavir. I haven't seen that Lashon for a while. So Netanya brings it a lot. It's called the snake skin. Yeah. It's from the Zohar originally, yeah. And furthermore, from the language of Iver as a blind person? Iver is like, uh, <coughs> it's similar to like, if not Iver. Like a blind person? Yeah, yeah. I would say, um, well, let's get this translation. It's coming up again and again. Aleph Yud. Adam Yocho is one what I thought, but I don't think that's what it means. I was a mess. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The goyim, the goyim is the saras, you know, the the from the lashon hara. God forbid, they come. These these blemishes. The it's hard to translate n- nigoy. No, 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 only from the strength of yeah. these, uh, from the skin. Yeah. The adua, ki- they don't come. They don't come from the light of the neshama. Right. They are the. They go together with this chay and marishon. It's like it's all it's all right. hemshit. The adua yesh beor nekabim zakim. And he says that it's known that we have it because we have this. Uh, yeah, these small this holes. Skin, these holes in our skin. Soon we're going to be cleaning those small holes Clean. for comets. Right. Yeah, yeah. we can clean it out. Yeah. Yeah. Because nevertheless, the klipot, they also have this uh, hidden point. Yeah, because they're hanging out. Gamke, they these keepers hide around. You know, you talk about them and you look at the Nisach of Haskin Sadas or Shah Sudas. All these things are hanging, hiding away in these caves or wherever they are. You look at the translation over there, the third, the Haskin Sadas of Shabbos. There's all these forces out there, the Chitzonim. They, they're hiding out in these places, in these holes. That's where the Nagoyim come. Yeah? So he says, Raksha Al Yade Onot. Avanot. Yeah, the Avanot, the sins. Block. Yeah. So only via the um, the blockage. Yeah, the sins, the block, the windows, come the nagoyim. So these hollow knot in your skin, these holes, they're there to like breathe and to provide all kinds of, you know, <coughs> moments. The, maybe the light and the shaman can shine through that. Happen. Yeah, that's where they hang out there. Yeah, they close those things. As they block it, says, it up. Like, yeah. As the as the uh, nega is closed. Yeah, it closes up those Ex-gul those openings. Gula oh. it says, however, the the body of the nega is really for healing purposes. Yeah. The hine, um, Gazeris Akasiv. Behold, this is a Gazeris Akasiv based on the Torah. It means a very strong state uh, proclamation from the Torah. Gazeris Ah, oh, here we go. He's saying this. Look, he says this is like uh-huh. uh, some, this this uh, decree that was written is. Uh, yeah, the, the impurity and the and purity is through who? Through the Kohen. Rav Shlomo. The God of Rav Shlomo. Or Ravelli. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if I want to deal with everyone. It's the Kohen. It seems like a busy job. Oh. Right, it says, and it would be good that this purity was given to the last person. No, it's a gift to Aaron. To Aaron, I call it. Yeah. Aaron, right. Al ki ha negaim ba'im al um I don't know what that is. Yeah, so the Lashon Hara. Ki ha negaim kam al Lashon Hara. They come to the Lashon Hara. Says, and what's what's Aaron's um, meter? Who's the <laughs> the, the root Cohen? He's the original Cohen, the original OG Cohen. Yeah. Uh, and he was uh, someone who loved and, and chased after. Pursued Shalom. Shalom. He loved and pursued Shalom. So he's the one to fix up the Lashon Hara, you know, right. to help the guy come to Hara. So he says, so he says, however, what's the reason that there will be this tuma that's created by the Kohen? The, I, no, I think that the Brias means Briyot, Kohen, means to see, the Kohen sees. Oh, sees. Yes, Lashem Briya, to see. With the seeing of the Kohen. Velotov, Ayin, Ah, yeah. has a good eye. He, he says, does he not have a good, like... And he will bless. Isn't he I the one see. who has a good eye, an eye and tova, and he will bless. He will bless. He is the one to go bless. He's the one we give Bekas Kohanim, um, oh, sorry, Bekas Muslim to, 
Why? Well, the reason we're talking about Brig is because of Tarvai. It's a good eye. The rock can use. Canal. Carla like we said above, yeah. Shanega Rafuahu. It's only that, as we mentioned above, that Nega is sort of a healing. Yeah. It's a gift, really. We see it as like this negative thing, but it's actually helping us purify ourselves. It's a certain gift from... because it comes and helps us purify. Yeah. Peru Sha'ayadea. The explanation is via the <coughs> via this nega. Because the drawing out the bad by the Lashon Hara coming expressed in the nega that we did. From the inside did. of a yeah. person. From, yeah. from, from without, from the outside. Um, Chutz. So, see, one of the most important things is, just before we go on Vita, and you see, we can see this, the, <coughs> it's a concept, don't stuff your face, face your stuff. Meaning, Gdali Fence says this, but it's a, it's a deep reality of our door. That we need to face our things. It will come out in other ways. A lot of people have TMS. You know what TMS means? It means that like all these kinds of, uh, from, from tension and from stress, we get all these kinds of illnesses. We get coughs, we get backaches, we get all kinds of, Lord Lane, we can get worse and worse, crazy things. And really the Shorish, the Dabra is, according to this concept, is that we have to allow it to come out, but the only reason to come out is now to go inwards and face the, on the panemius level, where is this rooted in? Why is this sickness coming? It's to help us do tshuva. We do tshuva, then the sickness goes. We don't run off straight to the back in the day, they didn't run off to the doctor, they went to the Kohen to fix the, the source of it, which is a Ruchnius thing. <laughs> when I went to Dr. Uniman about my cough, I said to him, honestly, I only booked this appointment because I missed learning Chasidus because I was in Tel Aviv that day. So I'm going to hop around and learn with you now. <laughs> I just laughed. I it was funny. So he says, uh, <coughs> What is it called? No, um, Chain Perish, the Sefer Kli Yaka. Yeah, like, and according to the Perish of the Sefer Kli Yaka, you heard it? It's a famous Perish on the on the, on the Chumash, on the Mikras Kedolas. Yeah. That's not Chasidus, oh, by the way, Kli Yaka. But it all connects. This is clearly a person who's complete. Ra'uilo. There's certainly a person as an Adam Shalom, someone who's a complete person, that it's fitting to him to be happy. What? When he sees his loneliness. He sees this this snake skin, I remember that's what we called it before, the snake skin manifesting with Snagoyim, it's helping him to chuba, have him fix himself. So he can go to the Kohen and get to Hara. <coughs> Yeah. It's yeah. hidden. Hatmana, you know, when you hide, you, you, you uh, the Malach of Shabbos, you take a cloth and wrap up a bowl, yeah? It's hiding it. All this, there's so much stuff inside of us that it's a schus, your zoche, that you were zoche to purify yourselves from the tumor that was hidden inside of you. It's a tremendous yeah, like schus to get that out. Yeah. I, I want to ask you personally, you don't have to tell me what and why, but have you had those moments where you went to a certain rov or, a, or a, a therapist, it doesn't have to tell me which, but you went to someone and they would megale a lot of garbage with it, a lot of stuff you needed to work out. And it helped, and the clarity was so uplifting because you're a good guy, you're an Adam Shalom. So it comes out, you're happy from that. You're not right, you're angry. Happy. Yeah, yeah, of course. You're like, you work on it. thank you, Hashem. Thank you. Now I know I, I have more self awareness. I can work on it. Yeah, that's, that's the right way of looking at this. Yeah. So therefore, via the seeing of the Kohen, he draws this tumor outside. The Vizora Kodesh perish, perush, uhova el Kohen. Yeah, that's the perish, why? Right? When you go to the Kohen, what's the psha of Panemius? Of going to the Kohen. Why'd you go to the Kohen? Why'd you come to me and love me? I don't know, I'm just joking. But why'd you come to the Kohen? Yeah, says the Zohar, who has it out. He's a kind guy. He's, no, that doesn't mean that. Sorry, I'm joking. Who has said L? Yeah, he's, he's godly chesed. That's what it means, really. 
I mean, he, the Cohen is. The Cohen. Yeah, he's on that cab of Chesed, you know. I had a big surprise, and I hope this Hashem is a Hashem. Maybe I won't say the name of the person, but there's someone as a rug who came up to us in the shul, and he said to me, I have a question. For, you, for me and another guy who's more facetiously orientated, and once again, I'm being careful with names here today. I'm trying to do tshuva on any shmur, so only Hashem. So he said to me, he said, I have a question to Orachayim. I knew you guys would be able to answer. Why is a Kohen on the side of kindness and a Levi on the side of Kavura? Chesed and Kavura, what's the shah? So he asked the right guys. He's like, this is the kind of stuff we learn. And you see here, in the Swasemis, he say, without getting to the Levi, he's talking about the Kohen. There's a Kohen in Chesed El. He's the one you go to to get the Tahara, to bring out that Panemius. It's a Chesed. It's an Ayn Tov. He's helping you purify yourself. Why is it Ashun I don't want to say because maybe I'm saying that the Rav doesn't know so much about Chesedus. So he's coming to us. Oh, oh, oh. He knows a lot of Torah. Just Chesedus isn't his strong point. Yeah, yeah. But coming to Shirat Tovid, he's starting to learn a lot of Chesedus. Yeah. By the way, I have a lot to learn from him all the time. Sure. Yeah. Ask him questions all the time. Yeah. He says, uh, just like uh, Kodesh Baruch who desires to purify himself, Lachain, Nevi'a, Hashkiloma, Lachlis. Similarly, he brings the Tuma outside. The Tzarich HaAdam, the Kabel Zot, Bava. Huh? He's happy. This is the Chesed, man. He's, he's so excited. He's getting an Aaron Cohen. Is also, you know, we said Rodesh Shalom. You know, he's he's always uh, he's a Ish Ava Bahava. Everything's with love over here because we're purifying ourselves. He says, isn't it? A person needs to to, to speak this with love. Yeah. Oh, he's there. Paul Tahara is going to come. He'll come to to purify. Very good. And this is what he says when he says, and this is the obligation on yeah. a, to a Kohen. Isn't that? I mean, now you can look at the passage this week's Pasha. You're going to read it, Mr. Shem, with the Balkorah in the Shul, and you're going to hear it. Don't take for granted every time you make it to that. Because remember, Simcha's Torah wasn't so Pasha. You know, we've had some times then you have to keep thanking Hashem every Shabbos. There's none of these crazy things. We can go to Shul, we can hear the Torah. And in the Torah, we're going to see this pasuk. We're going to say, "Now I know what that means." Going to the Ish Chesed, going to this this Bechina of Ava, this aspect of Zohar Kodesh, where we're so mayach that we get to purify ourselves by going to the Kohen. It's a, it's a happy thing. Beautiful. <laughs> And that's what we said above, March the Kosov the Ill. That was written above. This is, uh, this is uh, according to what we said above. The Tzarat is uh, this, this, this skin, it's a klipa, and it comes via Allah Shahar. Ramashik fi shemirut ruach kapimiyut shabada. Right? The hint is that it's. Really? It's a protection. It's a this bitterness of the spirit inside of a person. That's interesting. I, I had a different translation, but maybe you're right. I thought it was shmiris, like a protection in the ruach panemius in the person. And it protects him from this impurity. But you're saying it's meiris, like uh, bitterness. I don't know, maybe. I'm not sure. I, my, my initial inclination was shmirut, like guarding. It's a guarding of the spirit. Okay. And the panemius, we can, we can, we can yeah, hold it, it could be either. <laughs> Therefore, it cancels the strength of the external. Yeah, that's the whole damage, danger zone. When you get too external, look at the world. Yeah, it's literally an industry. The media world is in an industry of lush and horror. All they, especially the whole presidential stuff going on. It's literally, it's not about what this guy can do positively and what the other guy can do positively. That would how it used to be. It's about now how bad can you diss the other person. Right. So it's just pure Lashon Hara, it's completely Chesonius. Yeah. Vattle that, Kyle. Get rid of that strength for the, this politics nonsense. Yeah. The, the general principle is that it's, a, it's, it's according to the depth of the internal sense. Mitrachev, Hakidusha, Ume Garesh, Hakidsonius. Yeah. Uh, well, deep in the panemius. Ah, well, Shlomo would love this. Yeah. Probably does love it. Kamashikosev, uh, Bemidrashacher. 
So I get used to all these Rosh Tevis slowly. So he says, uh, because the general principle is, is in accordance with the depths of the internal. Yeah. It's widen. Widening. The, the holiness. And push away. And yeah. It pushes away the external. Fast, all that politics stuff is just like a Purim costume. It's a joke. Right? Yeah. Sheesh Omek Room. Room? Sheesh Omek Room. Very, uh, there is a deep Rome, like elevation. Rome is like elevation. There's an, a deep elevation. It's, uh, Rome is the, like exalted. A deep exaltation. That's another way of saying it. Like very high. So he says that there's this, uh, another Midrash, it says that there's this uh, deep elevation and below it, it's like dependent on this, in this. Just like with the Panemius and the Sonius. So we have to really widen the Panemius and lessen the chesonias, push away the chesonias. <laughs> and that really, if you would understand really what Shirat David is about, I think that with Shlomo would definitely agree with this. Yeah? Right. I mean, you've been in more Shirat than me in terms of the Mahon. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sure it's been a very successful year <coughs> of learning how important the Panemius is. Right. And uh, this is something which the world needs more than ever now. In learning Svas Emes, you see that it's the nafkamina of Maestro Beratius and Chay Adam Arishon and, and the whole panemius of what a person's here for and understanding these parshas of Tazriya Masura in a deep way <coughs> and realizing it's a very big gift and a big chesed Hashem to purify ourselves and be close to the Koran, it says, with avar and love and to get rid of these these nagoyim and these, these impurities. Right now, you know, I don't know if you've been sick a little bit, but that's how I try. <laughs> I don't want to get you sick in any way or form. The whole avoda is, I, I didn't cough until the end, so Hashem, that was good. But the idea is that we try to purify us, ourselves. I'm at the end of it now. I just had, I went to the doctor, thank God. It was really a, quite a deep infection, and thank God I'm at the end of it. Um, but yeah, it was viral or bacterial? It was, uh, it was just very phlegmy. I don't know what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so too, me too. They, like, gave me a medicine, they gave me like, tried to give me an antibiotic last week, it didn't work. I didn't take, thank God. Because oh, I came to him work. after the fact. Right, yeah, yeah, it didn't work. So he was like, you're already after, there's no point. I'll give it to you in case it comes back, God forbid, but I don't think it will. So Mr. Shem, I'm on the... I'm, it's, what did he tell you to do? Just drink water? And he like, said, healthy lifestyle. You're not just sleeping rest. enough. True. Yeah. Not sleeping enough. And I haven't rested. Second thing is eating healthily. That, thank God, my wife takes care of. Even with Pesach coming, she's healthy and uh, doing more exercise, which I haven't done as enough. I would, by this point, I'd be swimming. I don't know what's going on with the swimming pool. I live in Yushalayim. I was always swimming a lot. And, uh, I'm waiting for it. Yeah, I need it. I walk a lot. I walk, I walk to learn with you today. So. Right, yeah, I see you walking. Yeah, it's good yeah, to walk. Walking's good. But I need to do actual, like, proper workouts and stuff. I'd swim. The gym I'm not so into from what I heard about it. I, I, I want to go to swim. But, um... What we're getting from this Torah, just to come to summarize, I think it's a very important yesod in Chasidus of realizing that a Pasha Tazir Matsura, I used to come to these Pashas and feel a bit depressed, you know, because Lash and Hora is such a heavy sin, you go to the whole like the heaviness of it and don't do it, and then we do it anyway because it's such a Nasoyan generally, and then we come to this understanding that no, because it's 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 totally on us becoming more panemius. If we're more panemius and less chetzonius, we're going to be able to draw out the Kedusha of Amisa, the, the, the Kedusha of us and the Shamas, the Kedusha of Shabbos. And we're going to have less inclination towards getting into external things and looking at people in that way. And really, Lashon Hora comes from a program, from So Hashem's giving us an opportunity to purify that in the root. And that, with that root, we turn Nega into Onik. And then we can enjoy Shabbos, we can enjoy life, and we make an Onik, uh, I saw them more and I, make a Nachas work to Hashem, because who are the children, of, I saw this in Siva Shabbos as well, there's a recurring theme, who are the children of Hashem? I'm Israel. 
and Hashem gets nachas from every one of them. He gets onig from all of them. So he wants us to honor his children, all of them. It doesn't matter what kind of Jew. It doesn't matter how far away, how low, this way, that way. Every Jew deserves respect, and they're all children of Hashem. And therefore, if we look at that way, then we'll hesitate, and hopefully we won't speak Oshon Hara. We'll speak good for Kali Yisrael. And I, as I said, that story Shabbos is a good example where we have a more like, say, Yeshiva Shekhan guy, and he's coming up to the Hasid guy and Shir Domin and asking questions, and I'm asking him questions, and we're going back and forth, and there's uni- unity, not you're this and I'm that, and let's dove in different places, we're together. Right. And yeah, that's it's beautiful. One of, the, one of the best parts about uh, Shir Domin. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, Shkoyak. I told you I have to run because yeah, my, uh, perfect. No, we did. We did the time. So I was a little few minutes late, and uh, oh, no, no, it's, it's great. I was running from a meeting, um, but Mr. Shem. Okay, Shem. Well, uh, uh, next week you want to be away. I'll yeah. be here the Shabbos. I'll see the Shabbos next week. Next two weeks I'm gone. Gone. We'll, we'll get back. We'll, we'll get back uh, after Pesach. I mean, Mr. Shem. Exciting. It'll be near the end of Sefer Vietkra, but okay. we got some very powerful points out of the. And I, I, it gives me chizuk Shabbos. Actually, this week I'm, I have the schuss to speak before Musaf. I haven't had that merit for a while. Oh wow! David. I, when I before you the machon came, I used to get the opportunity more often. Beautiful. Once the machon came, either it's from Shlom or the machon. It's like beautiful, beautiful. I'm like the so for some reason Shlom messaged me and said he wants me to speak. So I don't know if I bring this up, but there's a lot to discuss with Pesa coming up and. This is a Shabbos Panui. It's, 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 there's no Shabbos Agolul, there's no Dalet Parshish. We're going to just read from Parshish Tazri and um, hopefully we'll get the chizuk we need from it. Okay, Mirza Hashem. Who's playing the guitar? So. I don't know. I think uh, the guy who's sitting here with his uh, cousin. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah. All right, Shkwak, thank you, Rebelli. So you're happy with this year?